guys, AA12 here, and I want to welcome you guys back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to port your own texture pack into Minecraft Potion. Now, what this means is you can download any Minecraft PC texture pack and have it, like, um, converted to work for Minecraft Potion. Now, how does this work? Now, first of all, before I do get started, I do want to show you guys all the texture packs that I have right now on my device. So you guys see that I didn't have whatever pack I'm going to be, um, converting in today's video already pre-installed. So it's not in here, guys. So, um... Let's get started. And the first thing you're going to do is you're going to have to look for a utk.io um, application for Minecraft PE. I'll leave a link to that down in the description for you guys. So we're going to quickly open up this app. And as you guys see, it goes into portrait mode. And um, I'm just going to explore the guest. You can register or log in. But I usually just use a guest because I really don't need anything else. And if you guys see here on this you know, awesome menu where you can do other stuff too, all you need to use is resource pack converter. Now we're going to quickly go look for a resource pack that we definitely want to use and we're going to use that pack for, um, we're going to try to convert that pack and have it work for Minecraft Pocket Edition. Alright guys, so we're on my friend Kurtko's channel. He is a Minecraft PC MCSG um, PvP YouTuber. Now he has a really cool texture pack because I'm a really big fan of, um, you know, texture packs I guess. Um, you know, PvP packs, I decided to try out my boy Kurt's, um, PvP pack for Minecraft Potion. Now, the thing is, it has to be in a zip file. As you can see, it just is a zip file, Kurt Co's, um, fade pack. And I'm gonna download using Chrome and let this thing quickly download. And once it's downloaded, I'm just gonna show you guys the file. Alright guys, here we are in my download file. As you guys can see, Kurt Co's fade pack is right there. This pack only works for Minecraft, um... PC. So what we're gonna have to do with this pack in order for it to work with Minecraft Potion is we gotta quickly go back to the utk.io application, go through the resource pack converter, and we gotta go through these steps. Now, you, since you already downloaded the pack, you just gotta find where it is. I have mine in downloads and Kurt Coast fade pack, and since it is a zip file, you can indeed use this to convert it to Pocket Edition. Now it's gonna go through this ad, which we're quickly gonna leave because we don't really need to see the ad. It's gonna go through this ex extracting um zip file stuff and. You just gotta wait for it to go through its course, guys. So we're just gonna wait a little bit and... Oh, no, actually, it's done. It looks like it's done, guys. Oh, we're pretty close to done, so... Yeah, there we go. Successfully converted. Took 18 seconds, and you just have to click Apply and Install to Minecraft PE. And once this thing is in, all you need to do is let it apply the pack and start Minecraft Potion, which you can do from Now here. that Minecraft Potion is open, just make sure you go to Manage to see your texture pack. As you guys can see, Kurt Co's pack is already in the selected pack. I did not have this pack beforehand, I only got this pack here on camera. And now to see if it indeed works, we we'll simply create a new world and we're just gonna, yeah, there we go, building terrain. Done as, as you guys can see, it is definitely, this is definitely Kurt's pack as you guys can tell from the terrain, all the blocks look just like it. The ores are definitely a dead giveaway for Kurko's uh, fade pack and all that. So um, shout out to my boy Kurt. I'm really, I don't know, I really did not know what pack to use. So I decided to go check out this pack because I do use it a lot for Minecraft PC. I definitely, definitely love this thing. And check this out, guys. Look at this freaking source. This thing is beautiful. And oh my goodness, it just looks so freaking good. And I, I don't know, guys. As you guys can see, it does work, guys, 100%. And really, it isn't too, too hard to... Uh, port texture packs for Minecraft PE anymore guys. So if you guys want to go port a Minecraft PC pack I definitely do recommend this um, application and it's just really good I don't know I didn't expect it to go this well but as you guys can see it does have the terrain and will not copy the GUI of any pack only because um That's how Minecraft PE is. Uh, GUI doesn't get copied with it for whatever reason or GUIs don't really work unless you're using block launcher But if you want a pack for the Minecraft PE app then this is definitely the pack to go but anyways That'll be it for today's video, guys. If this video has helped you guys, for you guys who did want to get PC packs for um, Minecraft PE, then go smash that like button below. Everything you'll need in the description and all that. It's a really cool pack. I do really like it, so I don't know. But anyways, guys, that'll be it for this video, guys. If you guys enjoyed, don't forget to drop down a like. Tell me what you guys think and maybe what packs you guys wanted ported. And hopefully this guy to help you guys out. And I'm really sorry for you iOS people. I don't think there's an iOS version of this app as of yet. But for you Android people, definitely have some fun here, guys. And we'll see what we can do. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. And peace. Bye, guys. Woo!